Hello and welcome to example sheet 3, question 5. Um, we're looking at a regenerative grass turbine power plant with two stages of compression and two stages of expansion. Overall pressure ratio of 9. Uh, air enters each stage of the compression at 300k, so this is the points T1 and T3 are equal to 300 Kelvin. Um, it also enters each stage of the turbine at 1200 Kelvin, so this is stages 5 and stages 7. Um, I've drawn this diagram here. You can find more information about this and look up the theory in page 515 in the textbook and there's also a little bit on the notes. Um, it's important to learn this diagram. We're interested in finding the minimum air flow that we need to provide a power output of 90 megawatts and interestingly it also st states that we need to account for variable specific heats so you'll be aware that you need to use the tables in order to solve this equation or solve this problem mass flow rate of air is equal to the power output divided by the network now of course this is then equal to power output divided by W out or work out from the turbines minus work in from the compressors and this is what we'll be looking to solve then since we know this we want to find the work out from the turbine and the work in from the compressors okay so the mass flow rate will be minimum when the cycle is most efficient and in most efficient a cycle will assume it's ideal therefore the compressors and turbines are isentropic and the regenerators have an effectiveness of 100%. Also, we can say that the compression and expansion rate ratios across the co each of the compression and expansion stages are identical. Okay, so looking at the diagram, we can see that P5 over P6 is equal to P7 over P8. And the overall pressure ratio is going to be equal to P5 over P8, which is also equal to P5 over P6 times P7 over P8. The overall pressure ratio is equal to the pressure ratio squared. P squared is equal to 9, hence RP is equal to the root of 9, which is equal to 3. Um, this is important, it will come in later. Note that the work input and the work output at each stage of the compressor and the turbine will be identical. So we're going to find work out from the turbine first of all. W out from the turbine is equal to 2 bracket H5 minus H6. Since there's two turbines okay so in order to find work out from the turbine in order to put it in here and obviously calculate this we need to find H5 and H6 um, T5 is given as 1200 Kelvin so therefore using table A17 and the thermodynamics property booklets you can also find H5 which is incidentally equal to H7 as well And what you'll find is it's equal to 1277.79 kilojoules per kg. Therefore, we found H5. And the pressure ratio here is equal to 238.0. So then PR6 can be calculated. Pressure ratio six, P6 over P5 is equal to PR5 which is equal, so then subbing in this value 1 over 3 um, from here times 238 will give you a value of PR6 equal to 79.33 
Interpolating now to find H6, you'll find H6 is equal to H8 as well, I'm looking at the diagram, and that value is 946.36 kilojoules per kg. So then it's simply to sub in these values to this equation you'll find that W out is equal to 2 since there's two turbines 1 2 7 7.79 7 minus 946.36 and that will give you a value of 662.86 kilojoules per kg for the work out Okay, now we're interested in finding W in the work in by the compressors. So W in comp is equal to two bracket H two minus H one. T one was given equal to three hundred Kelvin. Uh, therefore, using table A seventeen, you can find you'll find H one, which is also equal to H three, from looking at the diagram is equal to 300.19 kilojoules per kg. Similarly, while we're here, PR1 is equal to 1.3860. PR2 over PR1 is equal to P2 over P1. So then PR2 is equal to 3 times 1.3860. Again, using this here. Interpolate in to find H2, which is also equal to H4, you'll find a value of 411.26 kilojoules per kg. And then finally, subbing in those values to this, bringing this equation down and subbing in the values that we found, you'll find that W in comp is equal to. 222.14 kilojoules per kg. Of course, now we know W out, out from the turbines and W in from the compressors. So it's a fairly simple complicate. Uh, w net is equal to W out turbine minus W in compressor, which is equal to. 440.72 kilojoules per kg. Now all that's left to do is since we know W net and this we can quite easily sub the values in to find W A uh, mass flow rate which is equal to 90 times 10 to the 3 kilojoules per second. Of course convert this into the correct unit uh, divided by 440.72 kilojoules per kg cancelling the units you'll find the mass flow rate equal to 204.21 kilojoules kilograms per second thanks